We want to wish the United States Marine Corps a happy 247th birthday. What a birthday. What a milestone. And for nearly a century, countless recruits have started their journeys right here at Marine Corps Recruit Depot, San Diego. So for this week's News 8 throwbacks, we're going all the way back to 1965 for a special report on MCRD. Reporter Mel Knepp highlighted what it was like for a new recruit from the drill instructor's welcome to their boot haircut to basic training at the depot. Legendary 8 anchorman Ray Wilson has the introduction. Next to story where we had time to plan our coverage. Mel Knepp's special report on the making of a Marine demonstrates the photographic and editing skill of our staff. This is MCRD, officially Marine Corps Recruit Depot, San Diego, California. When a fresh young Marine recruit arrives here, he gets a special warm greeting. It's a welcome that will linger in his memory forever. You are now at receiving box, Marine Corps Recruit Depot, San Diego, California. Hundreds of thousands of young men have had it here, gone through recruit training, and come out Marine. You can't talk. While you're here, you'll be treated like men. In return, we demand instant obedience to all orders and regulations. When a Marine fails to obey orders, he is punished. If you fail to obey orders while you're here, you'll be punished off. Now, the first thing you're going These to are the first words the new Marine back. recruit hears already. He has learned the meaning of fear. Thousands of young men from Ohio to the Pacific Coast arrive at the San Diego Marine Recruit Depot each year to stand on footprints painted for them on the pavement like so many quivering statues learning at once what the drill instructor calls instant obedience. Their transformation from lowly civilians to United States Marines will take eight weeks. The boys won't be called Marines until they graduate from here, but they begin to look the part right away. This is the famous boot haircut administered by a cold-hearted barber who must have been trained shaving peaches. The recruits soon learn where they get the nickname Boot. Once the processing phase is completed and clothing and weapons are drawn, the boys are put into 84-man platoons. They'll stay together as a unit for the entire eight-week training period. It's said that today's raw material is not as physically fit as the civilian newcomers were in the old days. The physical readiness test helps determine how much progress the Corps is making in its avowed purpose to build men. These exercises are timed. In addition, boys who are overweight or weak go to a special physical training platoon to build them up before they undergo regular training. So-called negative attitudes are dealt with in the motivational platoon. There also is a discipline platoon. Traditionally, the Marine Corps has been made up of volunteers, men who want to be Marines. But again, draftees are being assigned here about 1,800 last month. They have to learn to want to be Marines. Screaming like a bunch of bayoneted banshees, these boots are practicing individual combat with a pugil stick. They're learning the art of self-defense and attack. The basic training period here at MCRD is eight weeks now instead of the usual 11-week boot camp. The abbreviation was necessitated by the Vietnam situation. It means a reduction in some of the so-called less essential training. Ten hours of classroom time on the care and feeding of the M14 rifle are supplemented by 89 hours of marksmanship training. After eight weeks in recruit training here, the boys will graduate and receive four weeks of combat infantry tactics and fighting skills at Camp Pendleton, California, followed by more training on Okinawa. Man, what those young men went through. What a throwback. <laughs> I love that we had that with Knepp and Ray Wilson. Incredible stuff. For more News 8 throwbacks like that one, you can visit CBS 8's YouTube channel. And you can also go to CBS8.com and click the throwback tab at the top of the page.